Hi, my name is Sabri Bloomberg and I'm the Deputy Chief Operating Officer at MGE. This week's tip is going to be how do I present an implant case. So ultimately presenting an implant case is not different than presenting any other larger treatment plans. There are two types of treatment plan presentations in dentistry. One is a smaller treatment plan and one is a larger treatment plan. And the only difference in your presentation is the amount of time you set aside for it. If you are going to be presenting something that's larger or more involved, you want to make sure that on your schedule there is enough time allocated to explain to the patients exactly why they need the treatment and also to talk through it with the patients so they have time to get used to the number that you're talking about. So presenting an implant case is not something that you try to squeeze into the schedule at the end of an exam or while you're doing a hygiene check when you have a patient waiting in the chair. So first rule of presenting an implant case is make sure that you have enough time set aside. The larger the case is that you're presenting, the more time that you're going to need. The other factor to take into consideration is the attitude of the patient. Very often, um, if it's an existing patient, we'll have some idea of whether the patient is fearful or um, a little bit more easygoing, right? People who are more fearful of dentistry are obviously going to need more time. Even if you're presenting two fillings, you're going to have to take that into consideration. You're going to have to talk to this person and give them the time that they need to understand their treatment plan. So treatment plan presentation is monitored by two different things. One, what is the size of the case that I'm presenting? Two, what is the attitude of the patient that I'm dealing with? If you are not sure how much time you need, err on the wrong side, meaning err on the side of more time. The other thing you have to understand when presenting treatment is that each patient is unique on the way that they're going to accept treatment or the way that they react to having treatment presented to them. Therefore, I would never recommend that you have a script because a script does not take into consideration the uniqueness of the person that you're dealing with and that they may not respond the way that your script predicts that they're going to respond. I recommend instead of a script that you learn how to communicate with different personalities so that they too understand the treatment that you're presenting and are going to be on board with doing that treatment so that they can get healthy too. Our communication and sales seminars actually address this exact subject and make you an expert at presenting treatment plans to patients. Anyway, I hope this helps. If you have any further questions or need further explanation on the subject, please feel free to contact us at 1-800-640-1140 or contact us online at www.mgeonline.com. Thank you.